this is Tiffany showing you my favorite water of all time. People think it's really weird, <laughs> but uh, it's actually really good. It's just a light little hint of mint and cocoa, but it's not chocolatey at all. Okay, so I'm gonna flip. Hello, I'm sorry I look crazy. I just got through with CrossFit, and CrossFit is generally done in a gym and there's no AC and outside and we're in Texas and there's like uh, it's very very hot and very humid so anyways um, but I thought of a tip because I just got an email back from a customer this morning um, she uh, I'd read or I don't know we were talking back and forth she was interested in some of our health and wellness products and um, yeah I emailed her back last night and she said um, I'm too busy right now, um, I'm, or I'm just too busy right now, that's kind of what she said, or something like that. And um, it's real easy as a personal business owner that we take that personally, or we think, oh gosh, that must mean she doesn't want it, that must mean she must be blowing me off. Well, I'm at the point, I want to know, like if, if you really want me, if you're really interested, now is just not the right time. Um, you know I want to know or if you don't want this at all just go ahead and tell me it's not gonna hurt my feelings just tell me don't string me along so I follow up with people I say okay great um, I'm sorry now's not a good time I hope everything's okay um, what date would be good for you because and I mentioned something we have going on we usually have some kind of promotion or something fun so I said um, you know we have a $500 uh, bonus that you can get if you sign up before the end of um, July so just to kind of let her know and anyway she came back and said August 6th would be great so I just want to encourage you to always leave conversations with a question you're asking them don't let it be just um, you know okay well let me know whenever you're ready or just get back to me you know I'll be around or whatever always ask them a question what date can I follow up with you when when do you think would be a good time for you to start why do you want to start uh, what are your goals you know, always ask questions to keep that uh, conversation open and to find out what they're really looking for um, and then one other quick story I went to a business when I moved to Houston seven or eight years ago went to a business one time seven or eight years ago and I went back there yesterday and you know they still had me on file and everything and the lady said oh wow you know you saw Sherry is seven I was like what was that like seven years ago and I, she said yeah and she goes we have so many new services and blah 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 and I said oh yeah well I get your emails so I, I stay up on what y'all have going on that's kind of what kept me um, interested in wanting to come back seven years I gave them my email seven years ago and I've been getting emails you know maybe once a week from them it's not annoying um, and it's seven years later that I went back so if they would have stopped sending me emails because I thought they're bothering me because I hadn't been in in seven years um, I wouldn't be there now and I wouldn't be using them now so anyways I hope that helps I hope that um, just get your mindset right uh, for you know what we do as a business follow-up is huge so all right guys have a blessed Tuesday get out there sweat do something awesome we'll talk to you later thanks for the hearts bye